with the recent release of Truex for Black Buck, I thought it was finally time that we do a Black Buck guide, and I want to do this guide in three different parts. So the first part and the focus of the video is going to be on locations and just generally the best areas to find Black Buck, and then we'll also talk about weapon selection and shot placement towards the end, but as I mentioned, I want to start with locations, and the best way to do that is to start talking about zones for Black Buck. So the kind of daily schedule for Black Buck is on screen there, just basically what they're doing at any given time of day, what zones they're going to be using. But as always, we're going to focus on that one drink zone in the middle there from 9 to 12, because that is when they're in the most obvious locations near water. So I've made a map with the locations that I find Black Buck in most frequently, and you can see the red circles are where I generally just find like one or two Black Buck, the yellow circles are where sometimes I get a herd and sometimes I get like a solo Black Buck, and the green circles, those five locations there, are where I consistently get herds of Black Buck, specifically with bucks in them and not just herds of does. So those five locations are what we're going to focus on, and we're going to go to each of those five locations, kind of as the top five, and just get to see how many Black Buck tend to be in each of them. Now we're not necessarily going to be visiting these locations in order from worst to best, but I would definitely say starting out up here in Bosque Muerto is our least consistent hotspot of the five. However, it is one of the locations where we got one of our diamonds in multiplayer, so I definitely think it's worth checking, but you can see what I mean when I say inconsistent. There's one level four black buck up there, and then all the way across here, there are two level threes over on that side, and I'd say this is probably like a low uh, number spawn for them. A lot of times I do see more, but we will just quickly take this level 4 from this spot since it's the best one. And luckily, being right there at 250 meters made it easy for the 243, which, again, we'll talk about weapons and shot placement a little bit later, but I do believe we might have gotten into the heart for that one. And it looks like that was exactly the case, and we got lucky enough for him to just barely make gold, but the interesting thing about this location is that Black Buck can drink pretty much all along at least the southern side of the lake, and then this little side over here where we shot to level 4 as well, but you usually don't see any over on this side. But as I mentioned, it's an inconsistent hotspot, but one definitely worth checking out. Moving to our next location, this little lake actually just south of where you start out on the map has always been one of my absolute favorite lakes for Black Buck, and it also tends to be quite good for Mule Deer, so worth checking out for them as well. But in the lead up to this video, one of the things that I've been doing is grinding for Black Buck respawns and hoping to get something good, and at this lake, we do have a level 5, and I'm honestly not sure what to make of those horns. I'm not sure I've seen them, but I think he has a decent chance being a 127 to 144 estimate, so we're going to get the 243 0 for 150, and once he lifts his head, we'll try to make a hard shot there as he's kind of quartering towards us. I think we must have been a little bit to one side, but lungs will do just as well, that's going to bring him down. And that's the nice thing about Black Buck. They're a smaller species, and you can kind of afford to take those frontal shots, because even a weaker caliber like the 243 is going to reach through and at least punch into a single lung if you miss the heart. But before we get into kind of like the specific location Black Buck tend to spawn at this lake, we're going to have to take a look and see what we have for this. He does have good horn length, so maybe that'll make it, but it looks quite similar to the Legacy Diamond Black Buck rack. But he is a diamond at 134. Not too bad, and we were just a little bit right of that hard shot there. But I do think that's a set of horns we don't have in the Trophy Lodge, so quite cool to get that in the process of our guide here. But as I mentioned, I wanted to show where they tend to spawn here, and it's almost always right in this little area on the lake. So if you come down from the starting lodge, you can kind of see it straight across. Or one thing I often do is come up from this lake here and go north. So I always kind of stay off to the, the east side here, just to make sure I can see over there and not spook them. But speaking of that lake down there, that is where we're headed next. And much like our last spot, this little lake in South Central Parque Fernando has always been one of my absolute favorite lakes for Black Buck, and it's actually good for a lot of species. Mule deer, red deer, puma, and axis deer all drink here, and it's been quite common to see diamond cinnamon teals floating around on the water as well, but on my map, I've only got one herd of Black Buck here, and there's actually only one tiny buck in it. It's a really quite pathetic level too, but since we are out here, we might as well go ahead and try to get him with the 243. I think he's actually got uneven horns, which is interesting. For one that small, you wouldn't expect that, but we did get lungs for him. And since we've been doing it, generally for this league, Black Buck can spawn anywhere from like the south side all the way up around to the northeast side. But you usually don't see him specifically on the east side of the map, kind of where we're standing right now. 
but some maps I've seen like three herds down here. It's a really good spot and it's been quite consistent. It's just that currently on my map, I've only got the one buck. And although this will probably be the smallest black buck we shoot in this guide, this lake was the location of our first Diamond True Axe black buck, so it can definitely produce some good ones as well. He's actually not uneven like I thought, just kind of interesting looking. Got the lighter horns and everything. But I think it says a lot about the black buck spawns on Parque Fernando, because I'm sure it's been obvious that three of the hotspots are all in the same general area here by these lakes. And now we're going to what I would consider my favorite at the southern end of the starting lake. And I would say there are kind of two reasons that this particular spot is my favorite of those three drink zones. And it's really because it's so huntable and it's so consistent for having a herd of black buck here. And it does also help that it tends to be another good spot for mule deer. I'm sure it's becoming fairly obvious, but black buck and mule deer tend to share a lot of drinking locations. And this is yet another one of them. As far as I can tell, we don't have anything big here, but we do have another decent sized three. And that's how we were able to actually make our heart shots. So we can go and claim him and kind of look at where Black Buck can spawn at this lake. It's a little bit difficult to really nail them down. But once you figure out where the zones are on your map, you don't have to usually check the entire lake. It's just kind of whatever locations they tend to spawn at. So quickly, we'll take a look at our Black Buck here. And he is, of course, just a silver. And this particular hotspot was focused on the southern end of this lake. Because on occasion, you'll get Black Buck up in here and even over on this side. But... For the southern end of the lake, they can really spawn anywhere from kind of where I would say this feed zone is for cinnamon teal, all the way across pretty much to opposite that. So if you were to draw a line across that southern end of the lake, anywhere along there you could have a black buck drink zone, but I'd say most commonly it is right down here at the end, which is nice because as I said, it makes it quite huntable. But finally we're on to what I would consider the best lake for black buck on all of Parque Fernando, and that's this big lake just east of the lake that you actually start out at on the map. And for me, I think there are at least three different black buck drink zones that have like an entire herd at them along this lake. And we're going to try to visit all those, but the first one's right down here at the south end of the lake. You can see where we're at on the map right now. And there is a pretty good size four back there, that narrow one right there, kind of just beyond where we can shoot since there's a couple in the way. So we'll just put out a call. We might as well try to get the best one while we're here. And hopefully we can get him to give us a shot. And I think actually all that calling was a good thing because you get a better idea of just how many black buck use this zone. We're walking around all over, but that is the one I wanted to get. We'll probably zero for 75 here. And just a frontal shot should get the job done. It'll get into a lung. And as we're running up here to claim him, I guess if there is one kind of drawback to this lake, it's that they can drink just about anywhere along it. I've seen them on both sides of the lake pretty much all the way along it. But that does make it quite fun to hunt. And the nice thing is about this particular spot, it's good for, I believe, every single species on Parque Fernando, whether it's the ducks that just like feed or rest on the lake or any of the species that drink or feed around it. As you're hunting black bug, you'll find a lot of everything else too. But for this guy, we have a 117 gold. I do like the kind of narrow horns. It's a pretty cool looking one and kind of like our diamond, just a little bit smaller. Now our next zone at this lake is kind of tough to get to. And I think it is on most maps. It's just that usually going up the east side of the lake, they end up spooking. So you can see we're on the west side of the lake, and it's pretty much to just avoid sending them all running. But straight back behind this doe is a pretty good sized black buck. There's also a really good four in there. But if we can manage to spot that one, that one there is a level five, and it's really far away. Like 360 meters is a tough shot. So we're gonna attempt this. I've gone for quite a lot of long shots with the 243 in the Red Fox grind, so I'm confident we can get this. We just gotta be just above the spine a little. Right about like that. And that should bring him down, and we're gonna once again get into basically like shot placement and what weapons to use a little bit later. So we won't get too much into that, but the 243, as you can see, is more than capable at super long range. And since we had to go all the way around to get to our level 5 anyway, I thought we'd go ahead and visit the last spot along this league, which actually happens to have a decent loose cystic black buck at it, and it's right in that perfect 243 range around 250. So if we're zeroed for 300, once he lifts his head, we should be able to pretty much aim dead on and go for that shot, and I think he might be an even loose cystic. We shot a decent level 4 loose cystic that was uneven, and that was a little bit unfortunate, so that might be a better one to display in the lodge actually. But I want to show this, it's the far north end of that lake, and I think the three bits of hunting pressure really do show what I was talking about, that 
black buck can drink pretty much anywhere along this lake. I mean, you can see where we got those three, and I had the occasional one running up that west side drinking over there as well. You just never know exactly where they're gonna, they're gonna be on any individual map. On my map, they happen to be kind of all over the place, and it turns out this lake has actually produced a lot of good stuff. Because we still have to go back and grab our level 5, and then we have our leucistic here, which actually, once again, at least is a little bit uneven. Different orange colors and all, but I do think it's better than what we killed before. It's a 115 gold, where gold is 106, so made it by a decent amount. We'll go down and grab that level 5, and I think from there, all we have to get to is kind of shot placement and weapon selection. And of course, we've kind of done a lot of shooting throughout, so some of that shot placement has been shown with the 243 anyway. But after a significant run all the way around there to get to this guy, let's see what we have for our second level 5 of the video, actually. It's actually, I think, our best diamond at 138.7. It's got a cool set of horns, too. They're very, like, wide, and I think that's probably where the extra score comes from. It's not as many spirals. I think that's a pretty good-looking black buck on a 318-meter lung shot. I think we ranged that at, like, 350, so it might be a good thing that it was a little closer than we thought. But anyway, we're gonna go back. We're gonna set the time to the beginning of Black Buck drink time so that we can go and find a few more. And we'll talk about weapons and shot placement a bit. So throughout the entire locations portion of the video, we had been using the 243 for all of our shots. But if everything was working as intended in the game right now, we would have no doubt had the Mosin in our hands because it is absolutely devastating on Black Buck. Now, as far as I understand it, this issue is only on PC. But if you take the Mose into the range, it seems like it's hitting a little bit low and right. Oddly enough, if you zoom the scope all the way in at 300 meters, it's not that bad. The shots are maybe a little bit off, but they're hitting pretty much in the bullseye. With the scope zoomed out, however, it gets a lot less accurate, so that kind of made me shy away from using the Mosin for this video. Now, for those of you that are on console, because as I understand, the Mosin is still working properly, we're gonna go ahead and go for a normal lung shot on a black buck just to show what the Mosin is capable of. So it's about 150 meters. If we go kind of right behind the shoulder, that's pretty much what you can expect. Shot placement is as simple as that. If you can get a shot into a lung on a broadside black buck with the Mosin, it's not going anywhere. Like I said, it is absolutely devastating. And just to see exactly what the Mosin did there, it is just double lung and the black buck drop. Now, a double lung shot with the 243 is obviously more than fine, but usually you're not gonna drop them in their tracks like that. And that is the one nice thing about the Mosin, you have that extra power. It's just that on PC right now with that bit of inaccuracy, to me, it's not actually worth carrying. And we saw throughout, the 243 does just fine. It's just that usually they're gonna run a little bit farther. So the same shot placement would apply with the 243 on a broadside black buck. But real quick, we'll try to get a shot lined up on a frontal one, just to see the difference. So for frontal shots on Black Buck, I tend to just go for a hard shot. It's a pretty safe shot, and actually we saw it earlier where we missed the heart and still got back into a lung. And all we're really doing is aiming kind of between the front legs and just a little bit above the bottom of the chest. Pretty much right in there like that, and we did actually use the 243 for a reason, and it's going to take me a moment to explain it. But basically, if we go into the ammo stats for both the 243 and the Mosin, the 243 at the bottom right there has a penetration stat of 30, whereas the Mosin ammo, the 7.62, has a penetration stat of 15. So that 15 is still enough to reach into the heart on a frontal uh, angle shot, but sometimes it can be a little bit risky. It doesn't reach by much, so I would definitely say the ideal is to get a broadside shot, but it is possible to do it. I just maybe wouldn't recommend it on like a diamond or a rare that you want to get the full score on. But you can see the 243 goes well past the heart and that's like I said why it's a safe shot to go for. Because you don't really have to worry about it. If you do miss the heart off to one side or the other, you still should be good and have no problem getting into a single lung and that's more than enough to bring them down. And I think with two new diamond black buck up on our wall, that is going to do it for this guide. So, as always, if you guys have any questions about what we did throughout the course of the video, feel free to leave those in the comments below, and I'll do my best to go through and answer as many of those as I can. So, thank you guys for watching, best of luck on your black buck hunts, and I'll see you next time.